Now that you have your story and have thought about which audiences to target, it's time to share. There are many different ways to get your story out into the world. This tutorial focuses on social media, which is accessible and cost effective, but it's worth taking a moment to think about other outlets too. For example, another way to use your story is to complement presentations you may give at conferences or other events where you will be talking about your research or your project. Don't be afraid to share a link to your story with listservs you are a member of or with LinkedIn groups related to the topic. Traditional media outlets such as newspapers and radio stations are often looking for leads on stories of local or regional interest or related to current national events, especially when a member of their community is doing something unique or significant for the greater good. If you've shared your story on a blog, website, or YouTube channel, anywhere you can link to it where it can be publicly viewed, it may be worth sending that link to your local news station. Even if they decide not to cover it, you've put the information on their radar. They may end up choosing to follow up on it later. If they do cover your story, it will reach a much larger audience. With social media, there are myriad platforms to choose from. How do you know which to put time and energy into maintaining? It's overwhelming to think about trying to use them all. If you ask yourself a few key questions about where your target audience is already hanging out and what you want them to do after they hear your story, it will help you focus your efforts. Here's a silly but helpful visualization featuring donuts to help you consider your social media options. You'll notice that Twitter and Instagram are both very of the moment. Both use hashtags to help others search for and find content. Twitter tends to be news driven around current events and trending topics. Instagram lends itself well to sharing a visual diary of moments in your story. Facebook is the most widely used social media platform in terms of both number of users and their engagement. Fully 70% engage with the site daily, and 58% of users are connected with colleagues in addition to personal contacts. Remember when you share your story on YouTube or on a blog to title and keyword tag it appropriately to help others discover it when they search for relevant topics. These platforms are both great for giving people a more involved, behind-the-scenes look that makes them feel included in a process of creation, not just your finished story. Some social media sites lend themselves more to getting news and information as well as discussing it rather than just personal entertainment or socializing. Here you can see which platforms tend to be more interactive. This visualization shows you just how many people are using Facebook versus other platforms. While it's true that there are people who spend most of their time on platforms other than Facebook, you'll notice that many of these people also have Facebook profiles and are active there as well. As you're starting to think about sharing your story, you may have more in-depth questions about how to use social media most effectively. Here are some resources that should, you ha should help you learn how to spread the word.